volunteer with the Community Weatherization Coalition. Today, we're going to talk about your outdoor AC unit and how you can add some pipe insulation to help save energy and money on future utility bills. The inside part of your air conditioner is responsible for removing heat from the air inside your home and your outer unit releases that heat to the air outside. Refrigerant fluid inside metal pipes moves the heat from inside to outside. In this video, we are focusing on your refrigerant line, which is a large pipe between your AC unit and your home. Refrigerant fluid travels outside in this pipe, where the heat is removed from it before the refrigerant is sent back into your house and continues to cool. Insulating this pipe will help save energy used in transferring heat out of the home. First, make sure the unit and the cement pad it is set on are clean and free of debris. If there are leaves, plants, or other materials gathering around the base of it, make sure to brush them away. Obstructions will make your unit work harder than it needs to, so be sure to keep it clean and clear. Also, objects that might bump the unit can cause it to be less efficient, so keep toys, tools, and other objects away. To complete this task, you will need pre-slit rubber pipe insulation, a pair of scissors, and some zip ties. The smoother rubber pipe insulation is recommended over the rougher polyfoam because it is more resistant to damage from the sun. Polyfoam pipe insulation is better suited for insulating indoor pipes. Both sides of the slit are covered with strips of plastic. Once the plastic strips are pulled off, the adhesive underneath will seal the insulation around the pipe. Do not remove the plastic strips until the insulation is in place. It's a good idea to turn a unit off or bump it up before performing this task. While looking at your AC unit, you will notice a metal pipe running from the bottom part into your house wall, or it might look like it's going into the ground. Often, this pipe is made of copper and feels cold to the touch. If there is old, worn out insulation, your first step is to use scissors to remove it carefully without scratching or damaging the pipe or nearby thin electrical wire. Units may vary, but depending on your system, while looking for the refrigerant line, you may also see a smaller metal liquid line above it. If the condenser unit has just been running, the large line may have a lot of condensation on it, so use a towel or rag to dry it. Starting at the wall or ground, position the insulation over the pipe ensuring that it fits snugly with the seam facing the ground. Make sure not to include the control wire or any other surrounding wires in the insulation. Continue covering the pipe with the insulation until you reach the valve at the base of the AC unit and trim any excess with the scissors. Once it is in place, peel off the plastic strips to reveal the adhesive on the pipe and go back along the pipe pressing the sides together. Check the seam to make sure it faces the ground so rainwater won't get inside the insulation. Then, use zip ties to further secure the insulation in place at the starting and ending points, as well as a few spots along the middle where the pipe curves. You don't want to compress the insulation or tighten the zip ties too much just enough to keep it from sliding around. I hope this video taught you how easy it is to insulate the refrigerant line on your outdoor AC unit to improve energy efficiency. By reducing electricity consumption, you're helping to protect natural resources and lower your utility bills. Thanks for watching! If you would like to know more about the CWC's work, you can go to our website at communityweatherization.org.